Hi, YouTubers. Welcome to my YouTube NetSec channel. Um, today, I'm going to introduce a new fantastic Windows feature, Windows Send. This is a new feature starting from in, inside the Builder 18.305 or later. Basically, you have to have Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise version, and uh, the Windows 10 version should be after 1903 so my version is 1903 at this moment so which is having this feature so we can give you a good testing on this windows sandbox so based on a windows uh, document it have following features it's a uh, pristine it's disposable it's secure and efficient of course you have to follow this this document to enable it but in here i'm gonna give you a quick demo how to enable this feature first thing of course you need to have make sure windows 10 pro or enterprise version 1903 or after or as build is 18362 which is higher than 18302 in the document 305 basically um so you need to go to control panels in the control panel there's a program category in here you can turn on windows feature so we know windows have hyper v but for this lightweight virtual machine feature windows sandbox you just need to click and then you will see this fantastic feature in a couple of minutes. It's installing right now. I just want to make sure to show you the difference. If you're using a older version, older than 1903, you won't be able to find out this version, this feature. This is 1709, or was built 16299. If you go to Control panel, programs, turn Windows feature on and off. You will still have Hyper V, but you will not have Windows Sandbox, as we can see from previously. Right? So now we need to reboot our machine. We will come back after machine startup. Okay, my Windows has been rebooted. Click Windows. Type sandbox to search the application. You will see there's a new app has been installed. Just type it. And uh, do you want to allow yourself to make changes? To it? Yeah, that's fine. Probably need to make some changes on the system. Okay, it's booting. Uh, it won't take too long. Uh, maybe first time you take a couple of minutes. But after that, it's very quick and easy just a couple of seconds it's going to come up um, you can see the system is same as what your host have even the os version is exactly same and you got a four gig run for it it's for hard drive you will get 40 gig which is more than enough usually to use you can create file you can copy it out copy paste it's automatically enabled um other than that it's similar like what you are using for windows uh hyper v machine so as you know we have you can have vmware workstation you can have virtual pc and also virtual box this kind of virtual machine and now Microsoft put the Windows Center box a feature to get everyone to use in this virtual machine easily. I like this feature and um, it's helpful. Um, if you want to do some testing, install some tools, you can get it running in this isolated environment first before you can confirm it's working for you. And whenever you close this sandbox you can click close button 
or you can shut down just like whatever you need to do you will be connected will be disappear would you like to no so when you shut down there's no warning but when you click the button the close button then you will get the warning so let me start it you will see the new file i created in the virtual machine in the sandbox virtual machine is gone they will not save your changes there so that's the one so this is the one so can we create a multiple let's give it a try multiple sandbox we another one get another warning for you i see but it's not allowed so there's only one running instance of windows sandbox is allowed so you cannot run in multiple sandbox and um, another question is if you want to get more memory more hard drive how do you customize it that will be my next video for it that's all for today thank you for watching